Hi, I'm Sue with Woman of Noble Character. Fish in the Bible. It's an important theme. In both the Old and New Testaments, we read about fish, fishing, and which fish are clean and unclean. There's also several well-known stories about fish and fishing in the Bible. It's interesting to note, though, that no fish is mentioned by name, either in the Old or New Testaments, yet the word for fish is mentioned, at least in the King James Version, 38 times. This doesn't include the word for fishing, which is mentioned an additional uh, 38 times, not mentioned in the original number. So are you ready to explore fish in the Bible? I'm just going to give you a few little nuggets. The Hebrew word for fish is dag. Uh, it is translated in Greek for ichthys or ichthys. We'll cover this in more detail in the post. You have probably recall from Sunday school several important stories about fish or fishing in the Bible, such as the miraculous catching of fish that we find in Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 9. We also um, have the 153 fish miracle, which we can find in John 21. Of course, the two fishes that feed the 5,000, the big fish that swallowed Jonah, as well as the coin in the mouth of the fish. The most important line, I think, having to do with fish in the Bible, is one of the most well-known lines spoken by Jesus when he referred to his prospect disciples as fishers of men. Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. That's from Matthew 4.19. Or in the ESV version, we read, and he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. These men, these brothers had been fishers all of their lives. It was their livelihood and their way of life. When Jesus asked them to drop everything and follow him for a larger calling, they were probably a bit in disbelief, but they did and became instrumental in the advancement of the kingdom. There are so much more in that I want to share with you in this post and in uh, the topic of fish and fishing in the Bible. So I hope you'll check out the accompanying post. Have a beautiful and blessed day, my friends.